Hi, I'm Bailey Ward. I've been one of the operators here on the Mercury Power Station. We've been working here for about a month now and we've just finished stage one. I'm quite excited about this job for the recycling rates. We always aim to recycle as much as we can from the building. The structure is mainly made out of concrete and steel, so I think we can get in the high 90s. All of the concrete here on site will be recycled into the foundations. The metal gets loaded into trucks and sent to our local scrapyards, where 100% of it is recycled. Yeah, my name's Chris Tyus. I look after our uh, Southdown uh, co-generation plant for Mercury. It's particularly tricky for wards at the moment because we're working in a live site. So we've allocated certain sections for them. They've been on the wet surface hair condenser, which is the cooling towers of the site. They were working within about three meters of live 11,000 volt cables. They're working particularly close to Transpower Switchyard and to a Kiwi rail transformer, which is sensitive to dust, vibration, and also minimum approach distances and contact with the heavy machinery. Any dust particles or ions and stuff in the air can cause a track, and if there's a fault, it can short the equipment out, trip the gear, and uh, we're on the network between Enderson and Otahu. So if we cut those services off, then it causes major problems for transpower. We hope to finish the job at the end of the year or the first quarter of uh, 23. Hi, I'm Friday. I've been working for Wood Demolition for 20 years now, and I really love my job and I love the people that I work with. The first stage, it was pretty cool pulling down the water sack. It was quite heavy, so we needed two 50-ton diggers to achieve the lifts. The fans were huge, and um, just had to have a bit of control with the machine and get it to the ground safely. Tracking the heavy machinery around site is a bit of a challenge because there's underground water tanks, and we've got to be mindful of those. It can easily give way and cause a bit of damage to the machines and ourselves and whoever's around. But everything came to plan. Love the project so far. I'm going to see this right to the end. Hello, I am Tyler Ward. We managed to chip our way through stage one with two 50 tonne diggers and two 20 tonne diggers. We have left the wall to stay up because behind that is a whole lot of live cables and we just want to protect that while we do our demolition. Any of our vibrations or even cutting up this big steel pipe, it was setting alarms off in the station so we had to cut it by hand so it doesn't vibrate or make as much noise. This back area is going to work as a bit of a lay down area for the rest of the demolition. We're moving on to some chillers and auxiliary boilers next but there's certain cables that have to be shut off before we continue our demolition. <laughs> 